The biggest challenges we had before switching to Spark was the old system that we were using was very simple and outdated. So we could pull up the student list and it wouldn't allow us to sort it alphabetical order. We had to go through a five step process to get to the ability to hopefully download it in a CSV file and then do all the manual stuff. Then we'd have to go back in there and even the control find function didn't work. There was no automations, there was no DNS. So we had a school of just a little over 300, probably about 315 at that time. And every Monday we were doing attendance cards, we would have to come in and pull out the stack of people who didn't show up that week and we'll figure out the ones who were gone one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks and spend almost all of Monday from like eight in the morning until start of classes, making our DNS calls, belt testing, everything had to be done manually. We'd have to pull one person up, promote them, pull the next person up, promote them. So there was a lot of inefficiencies. The communication was fine, but there was, it was either everybody or go through and manually click every person you wanted to have a specific email to. So it was just a lot of administrative time being not wasted, could have been put to better use. So Spark definitely helped with those right off the bat. You know, first and foremost, the ability that it was modern. You know, you could sort things. My two favorite features that I was really sold on initially with Spark was the tagging system and the automation. So, you know, I spent the first, you know, that summer, this huge amount of automations. In fact, I made so many automations. I don't remember half the ones that I made. Sometimes we'll be in the staff being like, oh, that'd be a good idea. And it's like, oh, that's actually been firing for the last few years. It's probably why we're not having that issue as much. And then the ability to tag to create as much customization as possible that once I've, you know, created a communication list two or three times, I can tag them the right way and just through eliminating tags and selecting tags and now with the new feature of save templates it's absolutely fantastic and then the check-in system being a self check-in system that integrated with an app so you know we're able to do the tablets we're able to have students trained to do but parents to use their phones if they're at the location and then an emergency you know if the power's out or whatever we can write everything down and just you know very quickly manually scan them in or barcode them in which is what we used to do.